Hello and welcome. My name is Chris Willis and I'm a principal security researcher here at Prelude. Today we're going to be talking about Operator 1.5, which is our newest version of Operator that we're super excited to show off. We've made a whole bunch of changes, both on the front end and the back end. So if you're a new user to Operator, this is a perfect video to get started. And if you're a current user of Operator, this is a great video to kind of get you to get the situational awareness of all the new features that we have on the surface layer. We're not going to be going over very many advanced features here. We're just going to go over some of the surface level, high level features that we've included in Operator 1.5. So we have a lot to get through, so let's get started. So when you open up Operator for the first time, this is what you'll see. So here on the far left hand side, you'll see that we have connect, train, docs, and settings which is part of our taskbar. Next to that, you'll have your agents window, which we'll go over. And if you don't have chains or TTPs up, we also give you some graphics on what you can do in operator. So let's first start off in the taskbar and let's start off with settings. So the first thing you'll see is the account settings, which is logging into your Prelude account or into what we call headquarters. So if you are a community user, this is how you can keep up to date with your training modules, things like that. If you're a professional or enterprise level customer, when you come in here, this is how you get your enterprise and professional TTPs and plugins, things like that. You can also do a factory reset in here if you need to. So if you had some outstanding TTPs or things like that you'd like to get rid of, you can do easily with a factory reset. Click up here, general. This is all the operator level uh, uh, features. So if you wanted to change like your TCP listening po uh, post port or things like that, you can change that in here. If you'd like to change your encryption keys, things like that. This is how you do that. You can also download plugins in this section. So as a community user, you have access to a few plugins. So the first plugin is the Sliver plugin, which is a part of the Bishop Fox adversarial emulation uh, framework that they have. And this is their Sliver agent that you can connect to operator. We also allow you to do things like 443 on listening post and also download uh, ART, which is the Atomic Red Team Attack TTPs. So to download these, you just have to click on it. It'll download, turns green. And if you want to install it, you just Click it again and that will uninstall. So that is the settings tab. All right, so let's go on to docs. So in the docs, uh, if you're a new user, this is the perfect place to start. So we have tons of different documentation here that you can get to get started with. So you can go in here, if you click on the search, uh, the documentation, if you want to search for something specific, you can go in there and do that. Um, but if you just want to see what's going on, this is a perfect place to look to see what all we have uh, in the documentation. We have tons of different documentation. If you're a new user, I highly recommend that you take a look at uh, Meet Prelude Operator, all about NUMA, which is our open source um, agent. And then things like how listeners work and how redirectors work. Those are some perfect first new intro uh, things uh, to get started in Operator. And then, of course, there's tons of other documentation here to get started with. So that is Docs. All right, so let's move down to training. So in training, we have two different modules that we have on offer right now. Again, if you're a new user of Operator, this is a perfect place to get started. So we have both an introduction section and a pink badge section. The introduction section is just how to use Operator. So we give you a basic orientation, what agents are, some a little bit of advanced uh, features sprinkled in, and we track your progress. We also have Pink Badge, which is basically a training modules to get an IT person into more of a security space. So we offer two uh, training modules uh, currently, but we'll offer more down the road. Uh, training, like I said, is a perfect place to get started if you're a new user to operator. It's a great place. But that's a little bit about training. All right, so I'm going to skip connect here for just a second, and we're going to talk about agents. So let's first dive into profile, the agent profiles. So every single agent is going to have its own profile. 
I want to point out a few things without diving too far into the weeds. So first here is at the top, you have unlocked, locked, and simulation. Unlocked means that when you select a TTP or a chain and you hit run, it will run it on the target box. If you select locked, that means that it will re require approval before actually running the TTPs. And then if you have simulation, which is something new to operator, it means that we kind of understand what we will get back from the TTP response. So we basically provide a simulated response back without ever running the TTP on the target box. So we just provide a simulated response, that's it. So down here at the bottom is where you'll see uh, agent and global facts. So you can create new facts, things like that. I highly encourage you to go through docs and understand how facts work within TTPs. You will be an advanced user in minutes, uh, just understanding how facts work. So uh, that's profiles for agents. So let's dive into launch chain. So you might be wondering, what is chain, what's TTPs, and what's that all about? So TTPs are tactics, techniques, and procedures where you create a TTP that looks like this in our tool, it's a YAML file, that creates a, an effect. So TTPs can be just one-off things. If you have a chain, that means that you have multiple TTPs, one or more TTPs that, rec that basically creates a adversarial effect. So in here you can create, well, so you can create a TTP. So we give you the full YAML file, um, still requires YAML rules, things like that. I would absolutely look at multiple different TTPs before you start creating TTPs just to get the nomenclature of how TTPs work and how it's structured, things like that. But you can go in here, you can create TTPs all you want. You can actually export them as well and you can delete them. So we also have chains. So uh, to like to select this chain, this is multiple TTPs that we have access to, that we've created to where basically they will all run in, inside this one unit and will basically create an adversarial effect. So that's chains. We offer a few chains in the community, community, but most of them are just gonna be TTPs. You also notice here on the side, you have like yellow, blue, um, and also potentially purple. Yellow just means it's a community TTP. Uh, blue would mean it's a professional TTP, and purple would mean that it's uh, enterprise. So you might be wondering as well, like where did where did the editor go here on the taskbar if you're a old user of operator? And so that's where editor is. It's located now in the this section here, we made it more streamlined and much easier to use. So that's a little bit about chains and that's a little bit about agents. Um, so down here at the bottom, uh, you can select your agent. If you're a community user, you only have access to NUMA, but if you're a professional or enterprise level, uh, level user, you also have access to more agents. This is where you select your operator if you have more than one operator and this will tell you how to get NUMA or any of the agents you're using onto the target box and how to uh, host it so you can actually get it running. So here I have multiple different agents running. So I also have my Linux testing agent and this is my local box agent. And then down here at the bottom, we have two out of five. What does that mean? That means that we have two out of the five agents that we can use within community. So you can have up to five agents running it simultaneously. And so um, if you have a professional or enterprise account, you get more agents that you can have running. Now to go back up to the connect, what is connect? Connect is a way to basically get a redirector to ha ha sit in the in-between so that your target machine connects to the redirector and not your to your main operator. So you can do this. Um, we provide you the instructions. You download headless for Linux, which is the headless version of operator for Linux. 
you would provide the host and the token number and you would put that onto a Linux server wherever you have it hosted. Um, and then that means that you will connect that target box, the agent to the redirector and the redirector will then communicate back to this operator host. So then you don't have the operator host connecting to the target box. So that's what we have for a basic rundown of operator 1.5. So with that, hopefully you enjoyed it. You got something out of it. If you want to learn more, highly encourage you to go to our blog, which is feed.prelude.org. We have it right up there with more advanced features on operator 1.5 and a whole bunch of other stuff that we post every single week. You can also check us out on our podcast called Overture, which is on all major podcasting platforms. And then also check out our YouTube videos. If you're on YouTube right now. You have tons of different great videos that's on offer. It provides a whole bunch of different stuff. So if you like this video, definitely give us a like. And if you want to see more videos from us, definitely subscribe to us. But with that, Prelude, out.